This is my original mini table saw sled that I made uh, three table saws ago, and I made it to fit that one. And then after I you know, made a new one, I adapted it to fit that one, and then I made a new one again, and now I've adapted it again, except it originally had two guide bars, and it used to be longer. And the other thing about it that I've noticed from using it is that it really could use a stop block. And you can see in this example, the marks that I've drawn on the face to line up the cuts. I've done this several times. So I've gone back to the drawing board and I've come up with a deluxe model that hasn't included a stop block. And I'm gonna make that in this video. I'm gonna be making this almost entirely with half inch plywood. And to get started, I'm cutting a strip here that's 32 inches long and two and a half inches wide. The next thing I need to do with this is I need to cut a groove through the whole thing. That's about 3 16 of an inch deep. And there are a number of ways you could do this. Of course, you could do it on the table saw like I'm doing right here. Or you can set up a dado stack on the table saw. But I'm too lazy to do that if I have just one of these things to make. Or another option is to use a router table, but my router recently died, so that's not an option for me. Now with that slot cut, I can cut this piece in half so that I wind up with two pieces that are 16 inches long. And then I need to rip one of these down the middle, actually a little bit less than down the middle. So that I wind up with a space between the two pieces when they go on the front, that's a quarter inch wide. Now I also need a strip to use as the base of the sled, and I'm cutting that here. And to get started on assembly, I'm going to glue and pin nail that first front piece with that groove facing out to the base, making sure that I don't put any pins where the blade's going to be cutting into it. Right in the middle, I want to glue a block, and this covers the blade as it comes through the fence. So this is an important safety feature. I let the glue dry on that block about a half an hour. And now what I'm doing is I'm cutting a slot in the end. And what this is for is a place to put the stop block when you're not using it you know, rather than lay it down somewhere and losing it, you put it in here and it's safe. Next, I can put the two front pieces on to complete the fence. And once again, I'm gluing that, but I'm driving in pin nails to keep the parts in line and being careful not to put them where the blade will be. Of course, now that I'm doing this in two pieces like this, I can see that I could have put it on in one piece and then cut that slot after. Next time.
What I'm doing now is I'm drilling a half inch counterbore in a piece of plywood that I cut down to three eighths of an inch thick and sized to fit in the slot. And I need that just deep enough to glue in the head of the bolt and keep it from turning. And for the stop block itself, I'm just going to use another piece of half inch plywood with a quarter inch hole in the middle and that basically completes the fence part. For the runners, I'm going to be using hardwood and to cut it to an exact fit for the slots on my saw, sneaking up on the fit until they're perfect. And then to fasten them to the bottom of the sled, I'm just going to square the sled itself to my table saw fence and glue them onto the bottom. Then I'll let the glue set for 15 minutes or so and drive a single screw into each runner. All that's left to do, of course, is to try it out. And here you can see the stop block in action. And when I don't need it, I turn it sideways and store it behind the fence in that slot I cut earlier. If you're interested in building one of these for yourself, free plans are available in the build article and there's a link in the description that'll take you right there.